be very afraid. Do you want to jump in first? Because, <laughs> like, let's get an air bubble first. I think we should all jump in together. How's that? <laughs> all right, I'm looking to see who I'm missing on the initiative sheet. I need Sodak. What's Sodak's initiative mod? Um, Sodak's initiative is not very high. It's a three, I believe. Give me a sec. Uno momento, por favor. Por favor. And I, the crew just gets a plus two? Oh, the crew is a plus two, yeah. Okay. Initiative. And plus I, three, yeah. I guess, I guess Siren's significant enough that we can give her her initiative. What am I adding to the initiative sheet, Adam? Uh, You're adding... A, uh, there's two items that go on the initiative sheet. Fucking devils. I know. It's, they left behind like their spare anchor that's animated or some shit. <laughs> uh, one of them has a plus seven initiative. Okay. What, what are we calling that? Uh, we're going to call that devilish surprise. Devilish surprise. Okay. Uh, the other uh, thing on there, we're going to call the um, Aberrant Horror, and it will go at plus zero. Oh. All right, I will roll a random initiative. I will populate the initiative sheet with said random numbers. Initiative <laughs> six to the horror. Worst pirates ever. Why around? Can you fix your ship? <laughs> Just pay them more money. Wait another couple of weeks. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> All right, Siren is here. The, we go. Siren, Smash. Siren is the first to act in this in this round, and I'll paste the uh, the initiative order. It's massive. Um, it actually got cut off at. Big no, Griff, Griff, you know, there's enough. There's enough. All, All right, right. So, so Siren is going to start her bard song, but she's going to start the bard song to make, like, the water more... Um, uh, conducive to us sailing. Okay. Like, thinking that we may have hit something. Like, it basically, yep. this makes uh, the profession sailor checks to get beyond this and swim checks uh, six easier. While she's doing still water, okay. So she begins to sing, and the water begins to get become still all around the ship. Crimlier is um, uh, flying up to the crow's nest. If if him and Genzorg were already in the crow's nest, and is just having a look around to see if she could see something. Okay. Um, from the from the top. Uh, there's some disruption of the water below. Uh, give me a um, perception check from Crimlier. 27 in the perception check. Okay. Uh, you do see a, a large hunk of steel that has crested the, the sea. I was right. <laughs> oh, that thing that came out all nice. It's like an animated fucking object or something. Bunch of animals, oh, fuck. <laughs> It's it's that big? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it is an anchor for a ship that's like eight times bigger than yours. Oh god. <laughs> She's not diving down to attack it, but she is pointing at it with her beak. Karen, what you doing, bud? <laughs> oh shit! Uh, he's gonna drink his mutagen. What's happening, guys? <laughs> Why did we stop? He's like looking over the edge. He's drinking a mutagen. He's Genzorig, huh? <clears throat> can, can Genzorig see the anchor? Uh, did is Genzorig flown up to the crow's nest? Yeah, he's he's up in the crow's nest for when we were leaving. Uh, the anchor is currently below the water, but it does actually stick out the side of your ship, like it's wider than your ship is. Okay, uh, I think 
before starting to fire it's, at it. It's, it's got cover. <laughs> Give me a second here. Uh, magic weapon. We've got our bracers. It's not within point blank shot, I'm guessing. No. Nope. Why? Well, it depends how tall the... Uh, how tall is the... The crow's nest relative to the edge of that uh, the water? Uh, it'd be about... Oh, give me a second. I've got one of these maps around here somewhere. Er, 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 er. Uh, the crow's nest down would be like 50 feet, 40 okay. feet. It's pretty high. <clears throat> All right. Um, he is going to, as a swift action, implement his judgment. Uh, as a uh, standard action, he will cast Divine Favor. Okay. Uh, that lasts for 10 rounds. Favor. And then we're going to rapido shot the edge of the anchor that we could see above the water. And that bonus is nice. AC 20, AC 36. So AC 36 hits. AC 20 gets like, uh, like reflects off the water, reflects off the, the heavy steel. Bing. All right. Um, we did put the plus two on the bow with more range because we are at a boat campaign. So yep. uh, um, uh, even though the horn bow does the more damage. Twelve damage. Okay, it does two damage to the anchor. Oh. <laughs> it is not bloody, if you're wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Oh fuck. <laughs> okay. Jishu. Alright. I think Fire Twelve. <laughs> I think Jin drinks his muted Jin. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> and we'll draw his uh pole arm. Um his masterwork long spear. Okay. What is your crew doing? Trying to make the boat go. I think is what they're doing. Okay. Um, the, uh, your, basically your ship, if they're operating the ship, it would need to roll a 20, um, on the CMB check to like break the grapple. Okay. So the ship ain't go. Why doesn't it go? <laughs> okay. Uh, so the, the, they're like, they're trying to keep the ship going. People are starting like pulling out oars and they're trying to get forward momentum. Mulgrimir. Mulgrimir drinks his mutagen, draws his sword, moves to the edge. Okay. Um, yeah, those looking over the edge, you can see where the arrows are going. It's like there's this there's a big piece of metal on the bottom of the ship. Rose. Rose. We'll move to the edge and challenge the anchor. Fuck <laughs> you, anchor bud. Uh, the, the anchor is technically a creature. So... If you can challenge, if it tar if it's target creature, then yep. And how? What's the distance between it and the uh, and the like uh, edge of the boat? Uh, between the, well, it, it the anchor sticks out both sides of the ship by a little bit because it's bigger than the boat is wide. It is wider than your boat is, and it just kind of <laughs> came up and stopped the boat. It, went, it came and hooked onto the boat. Oh, God damn it! Okay, um, we can get it. So can he reach it with his sword? Is what I'm asking. Uh, you would need to. He also has a magic naginadia that is a reach weapon. He could. It is currently that. fifteen feet down. Okay, so the, the answer is no. Um, if you if you've will, got lunge or you know, no, he will ready an attack if the thing boards the ship. <laughs> gets more aggressive. <laughs> We have to turn around. Why? Because Zorig ran out of air. <laughs> 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 Bam! 
Atlanta. Okay. Um, <laughs> mutagen. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good starting point, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> so, it's not Decamuthagen. Oh, no, wrong character. Here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah, uh, mutagen. I, so, it's 15 feet down. Yep. Can I run to the second floor and open a window? A port? Okay. Maybe like is it close is it close does it look like it's close to a window that I can just like go down and do that? What's your reach? Oh were they knocking out those ten? Okay, so if you are from a porthole, um assuming you can make the acrobatics checks to do it, you could like run down, open up the hole sort of dangle out the side and kind of reach for it, there's a chance you get, like, knocked off the boat into the water. There's a chance you screw it up and you end up in the, in the sea. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Sure. Okay, so this round, because uh, you're, you're up in the sails right now, it'll take all three actions just to get down to the portal, Okay. Uh, oh, right, right now, I'll, sorry, I, I, I'm not. I'll I, I, jump. Ooh. <laughs> okay, um, give me an acrobatics trick. All right. Sorry, I, I, I was too zoomed in. I didn't realize that you just had the the, the crew were all lined up at the sky. Not, everybody's not flying above the ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me an acrobatics uh, trick. Okay. Uh, no jump. No jump. No jump. Twenty plus that. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, you're able to get to the porthole and open the porthole this round. Uh, after drinking my mutagen. Oh, after drinking your mutagen? No, you drink your mutagen and you're 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 below deck. Like you're, okay. you don't open the porthole. Okay. Salissa has chosen that being a dwarf right now is not helpful, so is going to turn into a. We are now free from people's judgment. We think, although. Chicken boy is over there. Did we forget her chosen? We might have forgotten Celeste. Celeste! Where are you? Did you get left behind? She was a new crew member. Uh, I think she's there. There she is. Oh, she's just under the... The mess that is the <laughs> Sebastian. <laughs> uh, all right, so she is going to turn invisible before she turns into a snake, just in case. Hmm. We're, we're focusing on defensiveness. What do we do? <laughs> um, okay, devilish surprise. Uh, the... So the devilish surprise is the anchor. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's giga egg. <laughs> okay, uh, the anchor uh, is going to maintain the grapple, uh, which it you did not break the grapple as a boat. It maintains. Uh, it constricts. Um. Doing 20 damage minus hardness to the hull. Oh, I do another 14 damage to our hull. Bastard. We're going to do it around. We're going to do it We need a patch on We need a patch on the boot. Uh, and then if anything else is happening, you can't tell it's happening beneath the sea. If it is happening, maybe nothing is happening. Everything is fine. Lee. Ah, uh, Lee's gonna drink his mutagen. He's gonna move to the edge and have a look at the anchor. Oh, what the fuck? And we're gonna next round decide what weapons we're gonna throw away into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> beating up the anchor. <laughs> Black dog. Black dog. Drinks his meat. Living in a movie. 
is going to move to the edge where he can see the where he can see the anchor. Uh, yep. And um, get ready to take a plunge. He doesn't have any ready to get left, but uh, I think this round he will swift action turn himself invisible with a uh, ninja key. So you drank your mutagen, or drank his mutagen, moved and and used a swift to turn invisible. Okay, Daedalus is going to drink his mutagen <laughs> and then. Fox has already called it the mutagen crew. Everyone has. Everyone, clink. <laughs> the mutagen injecting or sniffing or drinking. Uh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Like um, uh, Daedalus's mutagen is a, is an injection, <laughs> a, a injection that includes Tabasco sauce. Yep. Um, uh, as he will approach the edge. Uh. Yeah, uh, and I'm just checking to see if he's got, does he do a stance? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, he isn't, like, he, he, he currently doesn't have anything to spend swifts on, so, um, he moves forward, uh, and prepares to, he's following the marine captain. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, so right. right now he's a ten foot reach with his chains, right? Yes, so he could theoretically go do the what the Banta methodology. Yep. Uh, so he might do the Banta thing. Unless do he doesn't prepare long arms. No, he doesn't prepare long arms, but he probably should. All right, he's actually going to drink his mugen and then go follow Banta. Uh, he might try the window trick. He's pretty agile, and worst case scenario, he ends up in the sea, which is what he was going to do otherwise. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. Sunwoo. <clears throat> well. The guys are Technically, gonna... it's underwater, just for the sake of fire spells. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So Sunwoo's going to play support, I think. Um, it doesn't have eyes, does it? Look at that. He has all fire spells. <sighs> He's going to go running after Banta. Hold up! And feed Banta a long arms potion. Or uh, extract. <laughs> hey, this will make it easier for Banta to attack from, from the ship. Um... All right, Katano. Oh, what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. It's all fucked up. But uh, let's 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 try this. Uh, Katano, Katano saves the day. He moves over to the edge, to the to, like the railing, yep. and will flurry of snowballs into the water. Is, is Siren already singing? Siren, she is. Siren is singing not a like combat bard song. She's trying to sing to make the water easier for us to sail through okay we need we need a bard bard That's correct but we've got two other bards that could be barding Not barding they're, they're they're just slow a bard 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 bard, and, bard 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 all right come on you can load uh flurious snowballs does um 46 points of cold damage with being pelted with icy spears and it's a water spell Okay. In, in a cone-shaped burst, thirty feet down. So yeah, yeah, he can he can clip the thing. Um, it does penetrate the water, uh, and this thing is affected by cold, and it is a creature, so it gets a saving throw. It doesn't use like hardness or anything like that. Okay. Uh, Fourteen cold damage from a flurry of. Okay. It cold pellets. It does wiggle. I don't know even how you describe it. Natural 20 on its reflex save. Okay, so it takes half, so seven. seven. Still more effective than the arrows. That's right. That's right. Katana will figure out how to fight the thing. <laughs> it, 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 it was more effective than the uh, the plinking arrows. Um, all right. Uh, after Katano, 
It is Sebastian. Now, see, I don't know. If, I think you found the thing that Sebastian can't fight. Uh, huh. You gonna share memory with it? What do you mean? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you uh, showed him the way, so the familiar will navigate the bowl a single move up to the edge. Sebastian will spend six power points to blast a cold energy ray at the creature. Okay. Give me a attack roll. Yeah, it's the attack. And his psionic attack would be his bab plus his uh, plus his int. One d twenty bab is four plus int is eight. And then what's the bonus for being teeny weeny tiny plus four? It's plus four, yeah. This one from above. Uh, it's small, tiny, diminutive, so it's plus two. Plus two. Okay, AC twenty touch. Uh, eighteen touch. Sorry. AC eighteen touch. Uh, even with getting some cover, it is touch AC of I think zero. Yeah, touch with cover, it's touch AC six. Okay, thirty two cold damage. Oh we oh we oh we. Um. Give me one second. I just want to check the... It is immune to this and 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 this. But not... Nope. Yeah, you can freeze it. Yeah, you're... You're freezing it. Okay, there's like a cold beam that sort of collects on the edge of the goldfish bowl that goes zipping down into the water. And I, I'm guessing cracking the metal and uh... it's, yeah, the, the metal's cracking. Little bits are cracking off. Um, it is nowhere near bloodied. Katana may have showed the way, but Sebastian will actually save the crew. Uh, okay, um, people are fighting in the domain of an aberrant horror. There is an ever-increasing chance that the aberrant horror takes notice and intervenes. Oh no. I need a percentile roll. Oh no. <laughs> no. What <laughs> high is good? <laughs> uh, low is bad. Low is bad. Okay. Ten. Okay. On the first round of combat, it is not ten percent yet. Okay. Yet. An ever increasing chance. <laughs> Oh, no, and it's not going to be... We're not going to be able to explain ourselves to them. <laughs> the asshole slavers left behind the giant anchor. Uh, are we going to end this quickly? <laughs> this needs to be ended. All right. Colossal anchor. So, Doc. Is I'm assuming he I don't know if he I don't know actually I don't know how he fights I'm assuming he shoots it. <laughs> yeah, he's got quick draw, so his guns can be in hand. Is here. Right, there we go. All right, all right. You 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 kill the thing in this round. Go. Yes, exactly. Uh, I don't know if you heard about the. Uh, yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been hearing everything. This is fucking great. <laughs> 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 this, is, this is great. This is okay. Um. Sodak is going to cast Abundant Ammunition. Uh, he's going to quick draw his... Um, what's it called? Uh, the, the tripod gun. Okay. And order the crew to assemble the tripod. Okay. And he's going to quick draw his musket. Okay. Two rounds on both both barrels. Okay. Uh, you're going to have to use your swift action to step to the edge of the ship. But yep. then, sure. Ah! Um, 
Okay. The other no, the, when you use both barrels, does that make the damage roll? Minus, it's minus four. Minus four to hit, and then is it two yeah, damage yeah. rolls or one big damage roll? <clears throat> I, it doesn't say. I assume it's. I assume there's two separate, like like basically like. Um, like a, a ray of. Like a ray. It's like two shots. I think it's two shots. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll it's both barrels. Okay, so it's if both barrels are fired at once, they must target the same creature. Okay, so, okay, um, yeah, so it's two, it's two different attack rolls. Okay, so two different shots. Okay, yeah, ba boom, uh, ba boom. <gasps> so we're using this one plus no bard song yet, yet, right? Uh, not yet. The bards have not had a chance to go. Okay, so standard action, step, shoot. Okay. And you're within uh, the first range you commit. But you are okay. shooting through the water. So I'm shooting in the water? Yeah, you're shooting into the water. <sighs> Alright. Uh well, two one D twenty. And these are touch attacks, so ooh, what's the critical range on Usually I it's... can't hit. I can't crit this, never mind. It can't be critted, but it'd be twenty times three or twenty times four, likely. Hmm. Okay, those are both hits. Did you kill it? Yeah. Uh, so I don't think I'll be able to do any damage to this. 1d20 plus... Sorry, 1d12 plus 7. Point blank. 11, 11 uh, 12. Uh, 12? Okay, so 2 damage from the first shot. Fuck. Uh, so and then the, the, other, the second shot re like rebounds. Pew! Actually, you can see the there's like a tiny hole in one of your sails as like the shot reflected off of the the anchor. And... The crew has been told to reload the uh, or not reload put put the stand on the. His, uh... his the the crew is currently assembling Sodak's other weapon for him. Um, part of the part of the crew that's failing to control the ship. Um. Yeah, not everybody can can do stuff. Grimsby! Wow! Are we far enough for me to poke my head out of my barrel? <laughs> Go get him, boys! I'm here, just kidding. Morgan Fuck it up! Yells drums. <laughs> Fuck it up! Uh, so uh, we're going to um, start drumming, and then we'll get ready to act like next round we'll activate our barrel to, to fly around. Lock him up. All right. Top around two. Siren. Who's going to be able to reach this thing? You don't want to jump into the sea? Siren's going to maintain her bard song. She can linger it. She's going to move over to um, Chitin and cast Cat's Grace on him. I think she was observing how people were fighting and moving. Yep. I'm. He looks like one of the guys with actually who might be able to reach. So. Yep. He's got a long weapon and he's like long limbed. Okay. Uh, all right. Because she does not have lunge and rapier. Uh, <laughs> you want to jump down there? <laughs> Uh, no, Grimlier. Somehow, somehow I don't think precision damage is going to help here. Sorry, I was nervous, hungry. Um, Grimlier's not doing the shit. is making me like diet hungry. Oh no, Grimlier's not doing shit against the giant anchor. <laughs> She's just squawking. Okay, Karen. Uh, are we getting in there? Or are we? Like, throwing shit at it. I'm going in, says Black Dog. There was a, a, a smidge of not sure from Black Dog, but he's, he's going into the water. Jin is also moving like he's going in. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> uh... See, we we got to town and we went back to our like traditional weapon sets, and it's like, is Karen gonna jump down there? <laughs> Fuck! Oh, the Lucerne hammer. Um, 
okay, so he's going to because the Lucian Hammer is a plus one and his main weapon is a plus two. Yep. He spends a full round action getting the Lucian Hammer out of his storage. Like he, the Lucian Hammer lets him fight underwater. Uh, he's going to swift action, uh, getting closer to the, the to the water. They basically like. Cool. Yeah, he's. You hear him? Fuck! 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 <laughs> I. We have a boat now. We're not supposed to go in the water. <laughs> uh, uh, Ganzori. <clears throat> Does Ganzori understand that this thing is an animated object, like the fucking little walkie? Uh, do we? Are we asking if we understand it without needing a role? Is that the question? Yeah. Um. Okay. There is a. 50-50 chance that you grok that. Okay. So, low on the D-100 is you understand. You understand. Alright. We will swift action uh, put up a bane round. Mm-hmm. Because this will mean I could do damage to it. <laughs> ping, ping, ping. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and then we rapid shot. It also means it's two hits. Going. Oh, uh, the bard song is up. Mm hmm. Wow. AC 24, AC 31. AC 24 is its AC from your current position. What's its hardness? 10. Okay, 12 damage and 22 damage after. That is significantly better damage than the two you did last time. Yep. Well, between uh, Bard Song going up, favorite enemy, and. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, the creature is not bloodied. Right. Okay, you 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 knock some chips out of the chips out of the anchor. Okay, so sure. that was his first attack. And his oh, switch. sorry. Um, <clears throat> he's gonna use. His grit to make the next attack. Uh, against the um, touch AC. <laughs> okay um i just have to find the power where did it go dead aim uh you spend one point Make a single attack roll. Make a touch instead. It has to be within the, bow, the bow's first range of it, which it is. You are. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So instead of a plus 21, this is a plus 16 against its touch. AC 33. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the touch is Should have done that on the last one. Um, <laughs> plus 15 minus 10 plus 2d6. Uh, 19 damage on this arrow. Okay. Smashing into it. Uh... And then his last attack was just a Hail Mary attack, I think. Uh, AC 18. It, it rings off the uh, the anchor without causing any damage. Jinshu. It's grappling, right? Uh, it's grappling the ship, yes. What happens when Jin goes and joins the crowd? <laughs> he, he's moving over to the. Uh, he's jumping into the water next to it. Okay. Give me a perception check. From Jin? From Jin, yep. 33. 33. 
Okay. Um, climbing the chain. Oh, is it chain devil? There's a, there is a a chain devil with several very large looking chains, all sort of. And this, this is the chain of the anchor, not a bunch of other anchors. Uh, though they're they're smaller pieces of chain that this devil seems to be controlling. Okay. They're like small anchors. That'd be for like smaller boats. And there'd be like boats. One one, for... one big chain that's. Or there's one big chain that's going down to the. Yeah. All right, Jin will yell that there's a chain devil down here. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. I, I just, you, you haven't grabbed anything yet. Yep. I don't know if you want to enter a grapple right now, <laughs> or if this has changed any of your plans. Hmm. Yeah, I think we might just attack the big an anchor for damage. Um... And just a, th this map is now a vertical map. Yep. Like it's yep. yeah. Okay, we've got our spear in our hand. We're fighting with a swim speed, so I, I think we're we're good to like attack things. All right, we'll power attack attack the the giant anchor that's stopping our boat. Uh, plus two, plus two, minus two. Okay. Bard song. Mutagen. Power attack. Are you attacking with a piercing weapon? Yeah. Perfect. And you have a swim speed. Yes. Okay. Damn you, Adam. This is my third plate in ten minutes. Stress eating like AC, crazy bitch. AC thirty one. Hey, yeah, you 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 punch the chain, punch this massive anchor that is chaining your ship to the seafloor. And it's got ten hardness. Yep. Okay, 15 damage from Jim. Okay. Uh, bringing it to 111, which is a fun number. Uh, it is still not bloodied. Uh, I guess we'll attack again. 15 plus 8. AC 25. That hits. 11 plus 6 plus 2. Minus 10. Oh, I'm I'm forgetting the uh, my mutagen damage. I'm just going to add that to this attack. Okay. Uh, 24. Okay. Uh... So he jumped in the water, he pointed, he like saw the chain devil and is now just like two-handing the spear into the, the massive... Uh... The anchor is still not bloodied. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, you, you've jumped in, there's things, you you you, you push your head above the water, <laughs> like there's there's a devil down here. Um, and it began <laughs> punching the chain. The crew. Okay, uh, give me a um, charisma check uh, from Sodok. Um... Okay. If, if you if you beat the so DC, DC ten they set up your gun DC twenty or we'll go DC fifteen they set up your gun and still maneuver the ship like you don't confuse them by giving them multiple commands like it's clear enough okay. oh fuck DC <laughs> anything less than DC ten they ignore your set up this like you they handed you that you handed them something and they went about their duties right. Nope. Ray, 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 Ray. They said it in his own language. Nobody understood what the fuck he wanted. <laughs> you're, 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 <laughs> so you handed, you handed the dude a, like you handed the dude a tripod. He stowed the tripod and continued to try to maneuver the ship. Um, so the the ship, uh, they are unable to break the grapple with the ship. The ship is still there, and they're trying, trying to unmaneuver the ship. Yep. Mulgramir. Mulgrimir is getting in the water to attack the thing. <laughs> Apparently we are abandoning ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back, is what he says. <laughs> 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 he 
He's not taking Chum Chum in the water with him, but he's going to basically jump down into the water. He's got swim speed. He's got his menacing Nodachi. And you, you have dark vision? He has dark vision. So you, you automatically see, like, there are his living chains climbing up. Like, you can see a couple chains moving along this massive anchor. He will activate a round of his luck. And Probably do that before jumping in. in. Yeah. <laughs> and rage. So he's going to hit the thing. I assume that I'll be right back is the luck being activated. <laughs> yep. So it's 13 plus 3 for the luck plus 2 for the rage and mutagen. Uh, he hasn't used a swift yet, so he's going to swift arcane strike. Uh, what? Uh, swift? What's that? Or is luck is luck a swift or is it a? I thought luck was a swift. Oh, is luck a swift or free? Good, good question. Um, it's a swift. Yeah. Okay. So he's activating his luck this round. He has to like alternate. Yeah. Yep. All right, and then Bard Song is running. Yep. AC twenty four. Because he's in the water beside it, he hits. Nice. Oh god, the poor chain. <laughs> yeah, so it's three for damage for that, and then his mutagen in that if we do this. He's always power attacking for some reason, because it's luck. Uh, I think he's got furious focus. Yeah, I know, but... It... <laughs> even when, It's like those, even when you shouldn't be doing it, he's doing he's it. always doing it. I kind of appreciate the... I appreciate the grind. Okay, 23 damage. After DR? Yep. Okay, that finally bloodies the anchor. Alright, he'll take another attack. Um, this is at 17, 20, 22, minus 5 for secondary, and he, then he gets his power attack penalty. Yep. Which is minus 2 at this level. Yep. AC 20. Okay, that does hit. Okay. And because you're beside it and you have a swim speed and all the things. Minus 10. Oh, I forgot Bart's song. Uh, 26 damage. Okay. Okay, 184. Uh, right. Rose. Rose isn't a great swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> the plus four swim? I don't think he's diving into the ocean to do any fighting. Uh, uh, he's going to go running down after Banta and um, uh, Daedalus to see if there's a way for us to you know, poke at it from the inside of the ship. Okay. Banta. The fact that he's right. going to use all three of his actions to get <clears throat> one of the ports to, like, ready to open the the door when Banta comes running over. Or Okay, Banta so, you, so Banta, action. you don't need to open the port. You yeah. use one action to get yourself out and dangling. But Banta wants to charge it. Oh, so you want to jump. Okay. Give me an acrobatics check and a swim check for you to dive out of a porthole that is counting as a charge. Okay, three plus my... Uh, the DC for both the swim <coughs> and the acrobatics is going to be 20. Uh, do you want which one? Wait, okay, hold I on. Need so both. 20. I need 20. Acrobatics is 20. Okay, so the acrobatics you make, you're able to <laughs> hit your girth through the porthole. <laughs> Basically, Eight, uh, Rose opens the porthole. For swimming. 35 for swimming? You open the porthole... You expected Banta to, like, stab things from the gun. He's like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna... Fr yeah. And then instead he just <laughs> leaps in a twisting motion through corkscrewing through the porthole and ends up clipping the edge of the anchor on the way down. Yeah, I, he's a little bit surprised at that, but he appreciates the <laughs> the bravery. Daedal there's, a, there's a bit of a stunned look from Daedalus where he, like, I'm, he doesn't look like he's planning on jumping he's out the porthole. A simple farmer raises his sword against the foe. He waters his fields. Uh, 
he's always doodling poetry in his little book. No, we're doing. Right, to give you so this counts as a charge. You've got one action left. So you're in the water. Uh, you don't see thing like that. They, people were talking about being devils in the water. You can't see them. You just see this massive anchor that's hooked into the bottom of your ship and is like pulling at some of the board, the freshly um, repaired underbelly of this vessel. Okay, so we're going to. Um, so it was a move. And then an attack. Yeah, so you can get you can either get a flurry or you can get a single attack. Okay, I believe you, uh, you. At some point, you have to enter your stance. So I don't know if you entered it last round or this round. Uh, I'll have to enter my stance on my on my way out. So enter stance and charge. Okay, so you don't have like a key point that you can spend because you have to enter your stance. So you have what, you have your flurry or a single attack left. Uh, we're gonna have to do a flurry because my double double strength doesn't apply on the weapons, just on my hands. Okay. Okay. Uh, four, five, six, fifteen. Uh, additionally, uh, you might want to check that feat that um, Fox put into chat um, because that feat is it gives you a similar sort of power. We have to figure out how they adjudicate if you have two powers that double your strength. Um, at the end of a charge, do they stack? Um, I didn't see that. Because <laughs> you could be big old big boy, Mr. Big Charge. <laughs> Drunken charge master. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay, I'll have to look for it later. Yeah, I, I've, I've got it open on my machine. Don't worry. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so Bent is going to do the uh, first deck. Okay. I'm not going to Stunning Fist. Uh... <laughs> <Just> break <laughs> the knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so 14, 16. All right, plus 16. Here we go. Plus charge, 18. Bart's on. Uh, yep, yeah, it's in there. Nine. Plus two. Uh, yep. Eight. Eight and that is 17. Now double strength is. Another 724. These Kite okay. Slavers must be so successful. <laughs> they got all sorts of horrible tricks. <laughs> that people in a mundane boat. Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> he did so uh, good! <laughs> I would have hit the crap out of it. Smacked his head against the... <laughs> would have hit it. Okay. Was that a flurry or a single attack? It's a flurry. Okay, you still get the other attack. Yeah, but you don't get the double strength. 25 okay uh the, with the the first punch you you punch a, a piece of metal off it seems to be like a rusted bit of of steel that just bats off easily the second punch has much more contact 25 so 15 damage uh 199 damage uh okay that is benta salissa uh, sounds good. Um, give me some magic missile damage. Her magic missiles are three, four, plus six. Thanks. Uh, for 15 damage, it's as good as a banta. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Um, unfortunately, she turns visible. Oh, they can see me! Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Alright. Uh, the devilish surprise, which does include a giga anchor. <laughs> uh, hey, the anchor is maintaining its grapple on the ship. It constricts. Uh, doesn't roll a one. Uh, it's... Uh, yeah, and if you're a regular vessel, yeah, now you're you're getting boarded. <laughs> you're, you're, you're screwed. Um... If only it had, they had time to hang around and attack you during this period. Okay, so se uh, 17 damage uh, minus 11. your gear. Yeah. Uh, our hull has taken 44 damage at this point in time. Okay. How the, many points does it have? Um, 950, but it's 474 before the the ship is considered broken. Got <clears throat> The leaky boat. All right. Uh, this chitin. 
is commanding the other three massive chains it controls to climb forward. It is going to strike at Jinshu, strike at Banta, and strike at Mulgrimir with these big anchory chains. You have to go and kill that dude. Well, he doesn't want to be anywhere near you to be. He doesn't want to be near enough that you can actually kill him. He wants just to piss on you from the sidelines. <laughs> um, all right. Is he in the water? Oh, yeah. He's definitely in the water. All right. Against Jinshur, AC 18. No. Against Banta, AC 28. Mother. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it. Against Mulgrimir, natural one. AC 30. What a hit. I'm assuming what a hit. Uh, Mulgrimir's AC with his mutagen is 27. Okay. All right. Banta. Um, hey, you're getting bashed by a this massive chain. Uh, does 13 damage. Okay. And initiates a grapple. Great. Fantastic. going to attempt to pull you in. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> uh, three, three higher. Okay. 23 on the CMB check. Oh. Oh. Need more than that. 29. 29, saga. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so this, this this big anchor thing, it's like trying to hook onto you and pull you deeper under the water. Um, it is unsuccessful. Uh, the last thing is this creepy being. Uh, so Banta can't see it, so he is immune. Jinshir or Mulgrimir It's going to give you a creepy face. Uh, one is Jinshir, two is Mulgrimir. Mulgrimir, um <sighs> There's a this thing is is staring at Mogamir and it's creepy. Uh, we'll save for Mogamir. As it is appearing to be his father berating him. Twenty seven. He is he knows he is a better man than his father ever could be. <laughs> Screw you, Dad. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh that is the Giga Anchor and Devilish Surprise, Mr. Hida. All right, Mr. Hida has decided he's going to use regular ship cannonballs to fight this thing. <laughs> he will enter Shikigami's stance because of you. <laughs> um, all right. And you need to go to the combat sheet. So, Lee, these are not plus one weapons. Weapon focus, power attack, rage. Uh, is he 30 feet away from the top of the anchor? Uh, you're on board the, um, they're on the main deck, right? Yep. Then, yeah, it's within 30 feet. You're not in the crow's nest. Okay. A little flurry. AC 27, AC 22. AC 27 hits. 22 doesn't, no. 22 doesn't hit with the uh, um, the cover. Okay, the ship's cannonballs are 2d6. When I Shikigami, they're 3d6. <laughs> Shikigami! Okay, subtract 10. So he blasts uh, the big chain for 27 damage. Okay. Um, that's a big cannonball. Okay, the, the chain, this anchor looks like it's about to split. Okay, and then his last attack, he sh he entered his stance with his, which is a swift, right? Change stance. I think so. All right, then he has a, another attack. He'll aim on this attack, and then, uh, yeah, he'll aim and then attack. So this is plus thirteen, fifteen. AC twenty-seven. That hits. 
Uh, 26 damage, and I'll subtract three cannonballs that go into the drink. Okay, uh, that main anchor can't take much more of punishment of that nature. Burn! <laughs> Burn! Black Dog? Black Dog is jumping into the water next to Mogamir. Okay. He is quick drawing, Iojutsu focusing, using the uh, the Great Grindy Low Glaive Spear. <laughs> <laughs> And is attacking the giant anchor. Okay. So it's a giant spear, so he doesn't gain that and that. It's a plus one weapon. He gets that. It is oversized rage mutagen bard song. Uh, do I get a bonus for invisibility or not? Uh, that is an interesting. Give me a second. <laughs> technically, technically, it's supposed to see you. Okay, okay it's got some <laughs> magical sight. Okay, uh, magical right. eyeball. Right, then it's flat-footed. <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> Specs of AC twenty-two. I'm going to use one of my um, Destin strikes. Uh, you were in the water beside it. Oh, okay, then then we're good. And you made yes, you made a swim check. Uh, I don't it... have to. I've got the. Um... He is wearing the gloves of aquatic mastery. You give him a thirty foot swim speed. Oh, never mind then. Uh, yeah, no, you just hit. You don't need to spend anything. Okay. And that means it could be Iajitsu focus because it's a uh, an item, and this is a uh, vital strike. Is also the thing. Okay. So this weapon, oh, let's do I just see, plus 12, and plus 1d6. <laughs> As is tradition with I just who rolls. So subpar. 3d8 uh, becomes 6d8, plus the 1d6 I just who focus. It can't be snuck, I imagine. Uh, for 50 damage, subtract hardness for 40 damage. Okay. Bringing it to 307. The anchor itself shatters. All of the weight of these chains drag the devil and the chains down at a dramatically fast rate. And your boat is free to move. Was it still there? <laughs> I need one last roll for the aberrant horror to see if it has taken offense oh, no. to combat within its domain. Oh no! Then it goes and eats a chain. No, oh, it's sleepy. <laughs> it, is, it is sleepy. It's the dodos. Yeah, I think. I don't think we're going after the chain in the deep harbor. <laughs> oh, you want to go down here? <laughs> no, I think we're all fucking trying to get back onto the boat. <laughs> uh, and then here's where we're going to end. You've been climbing back on your ship. Is where we're going to end our session. There's a bit of a stutter in the harbor. As you can only be on Devil so long without them laying some sort of trap. 44 damage in the hull. I think we keep on going. I don't think we're turning around. <laughs> Well, we have people that can uh, warp wood, right? Or shape wood. Well, you can warp wood. You warp your hull as much as you want. <laughs> we, we shape, shape wood. We have, we have uh, that kind of craft. Jin can shape wood, and you'd have to be basically doing the ghost thing with your hand behind his fucking shape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Very intimate. I, I'm wood sorry wood. to get the text, okay. so the name for tonight's game. Oh, it has something to do with... Uh... Uh, what did we do tonight? Oh, there's Anchor we, christened, to see. we christened the barnacle. Yep. We you got rid of like the you were able to get rid of the um uh the ebon chain broken chains. Uh, is there any uh, quotes about anchors? 
Way Anchor. <laughs> hmm. Way Anchor is a nautical term indicating the final preparation of a sea vessel for getting underway. Way Anchor. That's a perfect one. I like it. Because it's also... The the also... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How close are we to seven? <laughs> I know we have a huge crew, so 10,000 10, 10, XP is actually really significant. So, yep. uh, but you, you can answer that offline. Uh, uh, I, I, actually, I, don't, I don't think tonight we, we cracked it. No, so. I, I, I'm i guessing the, the type won't be, I think, more than 3,000. So, Way That's Anchor right. is in the books. For those watching on YouTube, which is where this video will appear, thanks for your support. For those hanging out on the channel with us tonight, it's good to see you folks here, Fox. It's good seeing you. And as Where's always, that feet? Where's the feet? <laughs> and as always... Just so we, I can roll ones. <laughs> the thing I put in chat, type that into Google's. It'll find it. We hope you okay. enjoy this as much as we do. <laughs> Peace. Have a good night. Good night, guys.